wailing, crying, talking to the trees and creepers, birds and animals. Have you ever seen Sita? Where is my beloved Sita? As children also you have heard the same statement. And when you grow up and when you understand Rama's condition, you have a different meaning. At different stages of life, the same story is going to reveal something more, some deeper truths of life. So also these Puranas have got the same way to talk to you. Here they say that the Mandara Achara Parvata was brought for doing the churning of the ocean in order that the prosperity, the wealth of heaven comes out which has sunk into the ocean. And you are all aware of this story, what happens over there, Purma, Avatar, etc. is going to take place. This story goes that as they are journeying, both the Devatas as well as the Asuras have joined their hands together to make it possible. You will require your left hand as well as the right hand for the best in life to come out. You know? You all are thinking that if we eliminate our enemies, then we will be happy. You are wrong. You don't know that you require even people who oppose you. You require people who can oppose you and without that friction, even the knife cannot be sharpened. Without the friction, even a, the diamond also cannot shine. And therefore you require even those, such people, they bring the best out of you. If you have a disagreement with someone, say thank you to that person. Because he is planning to bring the best out of you. Amrita Samudra Manthanam is taking place, the churning of this milky ocean is taking place so that the Amrita can be had and before the Amrita emerges, Hala Hala Visha comes out. You have heard this. Hala Hala Visha is that poison. The boiling, burning poison which comes out. And when it starts floating on the surface of that milky ocean, the Devatas as well as the Asuras drop the churning job and they start running helter and skelter. That time Bhagwan Shiva comes forward and he brings the Allah Halavisha. You you all have I mean all almost all of us have heard this story since our childhood. This is not something new. Yeah? Nirakanta Bhagavan. It means that Bhagavan Shiva when he drinks the poison, he does not allow it to go down, nor does he allow it to go up. It is held in the throat. It is not even vomited on the world. When you have bitter experiences, that is what you learn. Don't let it go in, nor do not even let it affect your head. And don't even vomit it out on the world. Then you are Shiva. If you are able to hold that right in your hand, in your in the throat, and that is why Bhagwan Shiva is Gaura Tarpura Gaura, and when you hold that Visha, that poison in the in the neck, in the throat, his throat turns black. But that throat turning black becomes his Bhushana. It is an ornament to Shiva. It is not a stigma on his beauty but it is an ornament and that's why you call Bhagavan Shiva as Nila mm -hmm. This happens and I am now going to I want you people to be introduced I am just not sitting over here so that you know I can tell you the story but I want to bring a little change in you you can hear these stories very well on the TV because the satsang goes on 24 hours on all the Indian channels. 
you know, I'm a sannyasi. My mother lives with me. And one day she was watching TV when I went to her room. And she kept on changing the channels. I asked, what are you doing now? She said, on every channel, there is one Baba sitting. And if I close the TV, you are sitting outside. <laughs> <laughs> My attempt over here is to leave an imprint on your mind so that you can start loving the Shastras. I will read the shlokas and I will explain it. Have a little patience and we will be able to, you will, you will, you will get what you want directly from the source. It will not be your second-hand knowledge. Here it goes. Shri Shuka Huvacha, I have chosen this particular passage from Srimad Bhagavad Purana. It is this canto number 8 and chapter number 8 in which the description goes. This is the description where Mahalakshmi emerges out of the ocean and how she comes and what happens is a small passage of about 25 shlokas, just 25 shlokas, okay? I'm bringing it to you. Because the entire Bhagavatam is 18,000 verses and out of those 18,000 verses if I'm bringing you 25, that is just a drop in the ocean. Pite gare prishankena, prita se naradanavaha, mamantus tarasa sindhum, avir dhani kato bhavat, pamat nihotri nrishayo, jagruhur brahmavadinaha, yashyasya devayanasya, medhaya avishendrita. After Bhagavan Shiva had consumed the poison. Everybody else was relieved, including the immortal devatas and the asuras. Everybody, and then they employed themselves again to the job that they were doing. Mamantus tarasa sindhum, and with renewed energy, they started churning the ocean. As they did, the in the beginning what comes out, don't forget, is going to be the visha, the halahala visha. Whenever you are going to start anything in your life, the first thing which you are going to face is poison. And if you lose your heart over there, then you cannot make yourself capable or qualified to receive what comes next. Be prepared for the hardships. Be prepared for prepared for what could what can be called as worst. If you are prepared for the worst, then you are qualified for the best. But if you simply want best and are not ready to face anything else, you lose it. You are not even qualified for that. Well, here it goes. As they started the churning of the ocean once again, Kamadhenu, the wish-fulfilling cow emerged. The rishis, Brahmavadi rishis, the lovers of Vedas, they came forward and they said, we require the cow for our yatya karma. So please give it to us. And the cow was given to them. And that is why even before we began everything else, we had the go to the metal first. Here also during this ritual you saw that go to Jana was done first. Tata Uchai Shrava Nama Ayobhu Chandra Panduraha Tasmin Bali Spraham Chakre Nehra Shikshaya Bhagavan Vishnu had told Indra, now whatever comes, don't jump at it. 
have patience. Don't jump at it. Uchai Shreva, this horse, which was as white as the moon, emerged. And he was told, don't ask, wait. And there were other things which started emerging. But soon, as they kept on churning the ocean, something happened. Apsara, etc., all of them came out. And then, Tarashtavir Bhut Sakshat Shri Rama Bhagavata Pana Ranjayanti Dishakantya Vidyut Saudamini Yatam. And then emerged Lakshmi. Now this is the point, this is where I want you to see something. Comes Lakshmi out of that churning of the ocean. And then, how is she? Ranjayanti Vishas and her splendor is such that it fills all the directions. Her luster is such that it fills all the directions. And she herself, though is very much established in Bhagwan, yet for the Leela purpose, now has emerged out of the ocean. Hmm. Like a lightning in the cloud, or uh, what do they say, dark rainy clouds, she appears. Tasyam chakru spruham sarve sura sura manavaha rupa udaya vayo varna mahima chipa chepa saha and whether they were devatas, asuras or the human beings, everybody longed for her. Now you know, who, who over here does not want Lakshmi? <laughs> eh? Who here does not want Lakshmi? <laughs> and that is why we have more people, Lakshmi Pranakatishtha. <laughs> Mahalakshmi. Everybody's heart was captured by her beauty, by her grace. And then, Tasya Asanam Maninye Mahendro Maharadbhutam Murti Matya Sarichesha Indra, who till now was worried about his lost kingdom, when he saw Mahalakshmi come out, he ran and brought a chair for her. Asanam, he is safe, madam. Because she has, she has to have a little soft corner for him. Please sit. Ganga, Yamuna, Saraswati, all of all those Tirthas whom we invoke today, the same thing happened. All these Punyanadis, they came in personified form to worship her. And then Avishe Chanika Bhumir Aharat Sakala Ukshadihi Kama Pancha Pavitrani Vasanto just as what we did now, and since yesterday we will continue doing, they all did Abhisheka to her through all, you know, Pancha Pavitrani through these five sanctified fluids. Rishaya Kalpayan Chakruhu Abhishekam Yatha Vidhi Chakur Bhadrani Gandharva Natyashta Nandatur Jaguhum all the rishis started singing the hymns. They started chanting the Vedic hymns. Jagur Bhadrani Gandharva, the celestial singers, started singing melodiously. And everybody joined in this celebration. Medhamrdanga Pranava Muraja Nakago Mukhan Vyanat 
वादयन शंखवेनु वीणास तुमलन स्वनान the clouds assumed the form human form and they started playing the drums kettle drums trumpets you know you hear them the sound gambhir raga all those clouds assumed the form and started playing it tatho adesh jur devin shriyam padma karam satim दिखा पूर्ण कलशे सूक्त वाक्य विजय एंड ऑल द डिरेक्शन अज्यूम द फॉर्म ऑफ एलिफेंट्स एंड ब्रॉड द पार्ट्स टू वर्शिप हर विद द वाटर वाई इट इज सो आई विल लीव इट फॉर यू पीपल टू थिंक अबाउट इट एंड कॉन्टेम्पलेट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू दिस फुल फीडिंग for some time and just bringing it to you so that you also have an opportunity to go and contemplate 